Hi, I'm Sarah Lucas, and um, this past semester, the spring 2020, I interned for Live Nation. Um, my role was brand ambassador slash marketing intern, and I had a lot of different roles that I would do during my time there. I'll just go over like things briefly and then kind of dive into what I really focused on. So social media work, um, making e-cards, newsletters, um, announcements for upcoming shows. Um, I made press releases. I dug through archival stuff from the palace specifically. I would work shows, um, show nights were fun. They were long days, but they were fun. Um, I would get there a few hours before the venue opened and change out all the posters um, for upcoming shows to make sure that they were promoting shows that we thought that an audience would want to be at that was at a certain show. So like they had a guy called Space Jesus, who's a DJ and for him, I tried to pull anything electronic funk to like put up and promote that we would have. Um, and I would do social media work for the venues in real life while this was going on. Um, that was pretty cool. I got to be, you know, a hundred feet away from Diana Ross and Snoop Dogg and, you know, from legends to upcoming artists. Like that was, it was really remarkable. I really loved it. I also like, I learned a lot of programs. Um, I started learning with, um, social schedule, um, as I did most of the, um, social media work for Live Nation. So I would use that program and it was neat because I could schedule out um, several months in advance for Instagram and Facebook and the post would just automatically go live. And then I switched or they switched and I started to use Sprout, which was a really awesome program because it shows you the time of day that you're most likely to have the most engagement with your post. So, and it was, it would be like 12.59 PM on Tuesday and then 8.05 on Wednesday, you know, so it was really fun to kind of get to have that analytical side to look at things. Um, so the internship really made me think about my program. Um, I found myself thinking about theories a lot, especially like your target audience and your imagined audience and who your audience is. That's something that we've talked a lot in the classes that I've taken with Sean. And I found myself having those conversations with my coworkers and even just in my own head while I was trying to make posts for these shows and events that were coming up because, you know, like the country bands you want to promote to the right people and to consider what that demographic is. The Snoop Dogg show, you want to really push the people who are going to come to Snoop Dogg. So like trying to figure out who my target audience was and then from working the show seeing who that audience actually was was a really cool experience and I learned a lot about like the ethical and the legal side of the business especially working for somebody like Live Nation um they're constantly you know working with artists and their tour people are sending over like everything that you can use like for promos and what we can edit to put like our Louisville Palace or Mercury Ballroom on it. Um, it would call it like the ad mat for some of that stuff. And so it was like, it made me think about how like, I can't just go pull, you know, any picture that I want to use and it be okay. Like there's steps and guidelines that you have to follow. Um, shows being a rental or independent or on a tour of Live Nation came into it. So it really showed me that like marketing's not just like one base layer, that it really builds and each day it's something new and the, the one project can turn to something completely new. And I'm really bummed that the internship had to end early, but you know, like Live Nation, like they're taking a hit and I'm still getting emails from them, which is fun now because I know how those emails are made. But, um, it's really neat to like receive and see how they're still trying to promote and engage with their fans throughout all of this. Um, it was a totally diverse experience, you know, like I would be at shows and there would just be all types of different people. So it really made me have to think like just how music and stand up and 
Dancing with the Stars and movie nights like affect so many people in the community and like how giving back matters in marketing and really trying to brand yourself as being like a local presence is important. So yeah, it was a really great experience. Like, just, you know, how, how are you creative? How are you going to get somebody to engage with the other hundreds of pictures that they see online each day? Um, we made stuff for like Bob Weir, um, one of the founding people for the Grateful Dead has his own show and he was coming to the palace. So we made like a trivia, um, thing where we posted questions throughout weeks leading up to the show and just, you know, did anything we could to get people to engage. And it really, it pushed my boundaries of thinking about how can we stand out, you know, especially like Louisville has such a great music scene. Like what makes our venues different than the others? Um, I would definitely, you know, I would encourage anybody to do this internship. Um, Live Nation's a great name to have behind your back. It was a really great experience. I loved the music aspect of it. I'm heartbroken it got cut short, but um, yeah, it was really great and everybody should check it out for watching and yeah, support live music, you know, especially when it starts back. <laughs>